Hello everyone and welcome back. You know, now ChatGPT can have full control over your computer. Yes, it is possible because of this cool amazing thing like self-operating computers framework which is developed by other side AI. You can see right over here, this is the GitHub repository. And today I'll clone this repository, run it on my local machine, and then I'll give it the complete authority over my system, okay? So you can see that there are like 4.1K stars already there and almost 600 folks to this project, okay? And today we will be exploring this thing. So to start off, what you need to do, you just need to open up your terminal. Let me zoom in a bit, okay? So first of all, I'll go to my desktop. Make sure that you have like uh, Minicorna and Python 3.11 installed in your system, okay? So to set it up, first of all, I'll just simply copy this repository link, okay? Come back here. Yeah, make sure that you also have like git installed in your system as well, okay? So I'll say git clone and then the link to the repository, which will be actually available in the description as well, okay? So I'll simply hit enter, so it will clone the repository onto my desktop, okay? So here you can see that I just got the folder, which is like self-operating computer, okay? So now, the next step, I will simply cd into like self-operating computer, okay? So yeah, it's done, you can see right over here. Okay, so now let's set up a new Conda environment, okay? So I'll say like Conda create hyphen n then i'll say self opc like self operating computer then i need to specify the version of python which is in my case 3.11 okay it would take a while and create a fresh corner environment for you you just need to wait a while okay yeah you need to proceed by clicking y okay yeah it's done now we simply need to activate our corner environment. Just copy this thing and paste it here. Now you can see that first it was base and now it's the name of your corner environment, which means that your corner environment is now successfully activated. Now we need to check like which Python version. So I'll say which Python, okay? So it will give you the version of Python, which is right here, okay? So I will simply grab this thing and I will just copy it up. Now we need to install the requirements, okay? So I'll simply uh, paste it here. I'll say hyphen m pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. Okay, this is a file inside of your project folder which you actually need to install. I'll simply hit enter so it will install all the requirements that are necessary for your project, okay? It might take a few minutes depending on your internet connection as well, okay? So you just need to wait. All right, you can see that it's done. Now we need to install everything else. So now I just simply need to grab that Python version once again. So I'll say dash m pip install space and then dot, okay? Then I'll hit enter so it will install everything else as well okay so you can see that successfully installed self-operating computer 1.0.0 so that's a good sign so next thing we need to rename the environment like dot example dot env to just dot env so that we could export our uh, open ai's api key in there okay so i'll hit enter so it's done okay now we actually need to set up our OpenAI API key by using export OpenAI underscore API underscore key equals, then we need to paste in our key here. And don't try to use this API key because I will rework this API key once I'm done with this video, okay? So now I'll simply hit enter once again. So it's set and it's actually done all right so now i just simply need to uh restart my terminal okay so yeah i'm back you can see right over here so now i will cd once again into the desktop then into the self operating computer okay which was my directory then i need to once again activate the conda environment conda activate self 
OPC. Okay, it's done. You can see right over here. This is the confirmation. And now I simply need to type like operate. Okay. All right. So first time it might take a few permissions from you like uh, the accessibility and other stuff. You just need to click on allow. Okay. So that uh, you could use this thing. Okay. Yeah. You can see that it's working now. So like ask a computer to do anything. Okay. So I'll simply click on okay. So now here I need to give it a prompt. So I could say like open visual studio code. Let's see. Yeah, I just heard it took a picture and now I think it will send it to like the open AI. Okay. So you can see that it's searching. My hands are off. Oh, wow. Amazing. It just took another picture to send to actually make confirmation. And now it's actually done. You can see that how amazing it was. It's actually a bit slow, but that's actually amazing. You can see right over here. Okay. So you see that and it's actually working on the back end. Okay. Like first it searched, then search complete, then it opened up the program. So it was actually really amazing and awesome. Okay. So this is actually the future. All right. Let's try to do something else. Okay. So I'd say like open Gmail on chrome compose a new let's let's try will it work or not okay compose a new email and type hello i hope you are doing amazing okay let's see will it work or not okay maybe you heard that it just took a picture okay you see that it just searching Google Chrome. Okay, it just uh, took a picture once again. Well, it opened up a new tab. Okay, that's great. Well, it's moving the mouse. Let's see what it does now. Okay, I'm really curious. Well, yeah, this thing is slow because it first takes the picture then sends to open AI, asks what to do, then comes back and does the stuff. So obviously this thing is going to be a bit slower than expected. Taking pictures, doing its stuff. All right, it's typing like gmail.com, sent another picture. Okay, that's great. Yeah, it's doing its stuff. You can see right over here as well. Well, yeah. Okay. Great. Well, okay. Just took another picture. Mm -hmm. Let's make it a bit smaller. Okay. Just took another picture. It's doing its stuff. Yeah, now it's moving the cursor. All right, took another picture and now it's moving the cursor. Okay. And now it's just going to write or I think it will just paste. Okay, just took another picture. Oh, wow. Great. Amazing. You can see that it's done its stuff. It was actually really cool, okay? So it did a fantastic job actually here. So yeah, that's great. That's actually the future. And actually, I am really impressed that it just did some stuff that's really awesome and amazing. Now you have actually the AI that can control your computer. Soon I think that I don't have to do anything. Just give my computer a few prompts, okay? I'll sleep and when I'll wake up, it will be done with the stuff. So that's really crazy and awesome. Thanks to other side AI for making this possible. So that marks the end of our this video. Kindly subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos on AI and related stuff. So that's it. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.